How's it going, Jack Tackers, and welcome back to another video for you guys. Today, I'm going to be doing my promo breakdown and predictions for the upcoming episode of Game of Thrones Season 8. This is going to be for Episode 4, but first, remember, if you guys are new, make sure to check out my social media and vlogging channel down in the description below. And without further ado, let's get into this. First things first, let's watch the promo. We have won the Great War. Now we will win the last war. We'll rip her out root and stem. So this episode does appear to very much be the aftermath of the Battle of Winterfell. We got a crazy episode this week, and going into this episode, obviously there's going to be some repercussions coming off of this epic battle, and there's just going to be a lot going on, trying to find everyone's footing again back at Winterfell. We see Cersei here at King's Landing looking out her window, and I do not believe that those are people from Winterfell that she's looking at. I think she's just looking out at her guards, because I, I really don't think that they'd be arriving at King's Landing already. I mean, maybe they are, because we do see the Targaryen boats, and then we do see the dragons later on in this trailer, but... That could mean that they're just going. That doesn't mean they actually arrive. Who knows, maybe they do arrive at the end of this episode. That'd be pretty crazy. We do get some more shots of Winterfell. And yeah, as I previously mentioned, there's just going to be a lot of repercussions coming off of last week's episode. And Winterfell, parts of it at least, are destroyed. And they're going to have to clean up pretty much and bury their dead or burn their dead. I'm assuming they're probably going to have to burn a lot of the dead. And all the White Walkers are shattered, so at least that's not that big of a cleanup. We also then do hear Daenerys give this speech, basically saying that they won the Great War. Now we have to win the last war. This is the ultimate battle, I guess. Not this episode that we just watched, episode 3. I'm, a, I'm assuming, obviously, that this battle will happen maybe in episode 5 or the finale. Or maybe go on in episode 5 and the finale, both of those episodes. But we do see a bunch of the people of Winterfell celebrating because, I mean, they did win. The Night King's over with. They fought back all of the Whites. They lost a lot, but they still ultimately won this battle. We see Daenerys with her dragon. I think this is Drogon. And correct me if I'm wrong, but none of her dragons died in episode 3, I'm pretty sure, I, mean, I know, I know Viserion died because he was a white, but I'm pretty sure that she kept on, yeah, yeah, she, yeah, because we, we do see both of the dragons, so, okay, we do uh, have both of the dragons still alive, which I actually kind of find that surprising, but I'm glad they're still alive. We see Arya kissing Gendry, and I'm very surprised that Gendry survived episode 3, and I'm obviously glad Arya's still alive, so I guess they're gonna celebrate with a kiss, or maybe even more than a kiss, ooh. Ultimately, though, I do think towards the end of this episode, as we see in this trailer, we do see the people of Winterfell starting to move out and march towards King's Landing, and yeah, as I mentioned previously in this video, we do actually see the Targaryen boats and the dragons flying over them. Again, I do not think they're going to be arriving this episode. I think, like, something's going to happen in Episode 4 or maybe at the beginning of Episode 5. But I do think they'll get there in Episode 5, most likely. And then the battle... Well, there's going to be a confrontation with them and Cersei. And then there's probably going to be a pretty epic battle in the finale. We see Euron bow down to Cersei. And I guess they're kind of still, like, a thing. I don't really know. Maybe Euron just plenty, uh, pledging his loyalty to Cersei and just showing her how much he loves her. I don't know. I don't, I don't really know what's going on with them, to be honest. It's kind of weird. I, I don't know. Also, I guess Sansa is going to be staying back in Winterfell and not actually be going to King's Landing. At least that's what I'm getting out of this trailer. So I'm kind of pissed by that. Like, I want Sansa to be there at King's Landing after everything Cersei's done to her. I mean, maybe they'll come back to Winterfell and get Sansa, but it looks like Sansa is pretty much going to be holding down the fort, so to speak. 
But yeah, I think this episode is going to be pretty crazy. Like, I'm pretty excited. This trailer does get me excited for this episode since everyone is on their way to King's Landing and we're nearing the end of this series. It's going to be very exciting. I mean, I don't really have any other words to describe it. I'm excited to see how this whole Cersei confrontation is going to be going down. Anyway, guys, let me hear your thoughts on this promo down in the comments below. What do you think is going to be happening in episode four? And for the rest of the series, how do you think it's going to be playing out? Let me hear your predictions down in the comments below. And if you guys liked this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you in the next one. Peace. Boop.